I, I have recently completed my PhD in exercise science at the University of Cape Town, specifically focusing on cricket batting. And on the side, from a humanitarian perspective, I'm the current Mr. South Africa for 2017 and currently utilizing my range to spearhead some community projects uh, to effect social change in the lives of ordinary South Africans. So the long-term goal for this project is to look at the long-term effects of a young player as they develop through the different uh, years of playing cricket. So this is usually a normal length of a cricket bat that players use from adolescent to the elite level. And as you can see that the length of the bat is a lot shorter when compared to the normal bat, but the weight distribution or the lateral surf the, the surface area is a lot wide on the coaching bat. So the idea is from a long-term perspective to reduce the surface area at the bottom as they um, increase in age and eventually having a normal bat so that they can get used to this bat when going out to play uh, cricket at the highest levels. The idea is that the coaching cricket bat is solely used for training only and is not permitted by law to be used um, in matches. So what I'm going to demonstrate is a straight back lift that a lot of batsmen use, especially kids at the younger levels. And uh, they become very defensive when they hit the ball. So very few batsmen have a lateral technique where they, they then lift it in a lateral way and then play the ball or maneuver it around the areas of the cricket field. This is what we're trying to achieve with the coaching cricket bat with young players where this lateral surface area would allow them to have that loop as they're playing. It has a very wide surface area towards the distal end of the bat and the conceptualization of this uh, bat was to merge a tennis racket and a cricket bat into one. This would allow a player to pick up the bat in a more lateral direction instead of traditionally going straight back over the stumps or towards the keeper. So many coaches traditionally teach players to lift the bat up straight but we have found that a majority of successful batsmen, specifically 77%, do not go straight back. Instead, they adopt a lateral back lift where their bat is faced beyond second slip or with an open face of the bat towards the offside. 